Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Keo Daiken, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove those little bezels from your Raspberry Pi image. So I know it's been a hot topic lately. They, those things can be very pesky. Um, I have a couple of bills out there where I've removed them personally because as of right now, uh, most of you guys are using these Raspberry Pi images for your arcade one up mods or at games or anything else, which is your preference. So uh, when Raspberry Pi was released, I mean, this is to pretty much cover up the black marks on the side of the screen, the little squares and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and knock those out today in today's video. So sit back and we are going to knock this out really quick. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna go into RetroArch. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna pick up my arcade games. In fact, let's take a look really quick at my favorites because I've, I really love my favorites there. And one of the games I'm gonna pick, which uh, is really suitable for this review, is Aliens vs. Predator. It's one of my favorite games out there. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. So there's three ways to remove bezels from your Raspberry Pi image. The first way is to completely delete them using WinSCP. Um, that is for the more expert users. I would say if you guys are really familiar with Raspberry Pi. The other option is to delete the bezel script. Uh, then the third way, and the third way is actually the way I'm gonna show you guys right now. It's really simple, really, really easy. So on my controller, I'm gonna hit hotkey and X which is gonna bring up my menu here. And as you guys saw, I do have, um, uh, you guys can see the bezels there on the left and the right side of the screen. So let's go ahead and knock those out. And when I first started doing this, it was really annoying. I mean, I can't even tell you exactly how annoying it was. Uh, so let's see here. There's actually two different options in here. Uh, we don't wanna go there, that's for something else. Uh, we're gonna go down to, um, let's go to on-screen display. All right, so there should be two options. Uh, the first one is display overlay, and there's another one called, um, I think there's another one called bezels. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. And we're gonna go back to our game. I just wanna see if it's there. And you can see they're gone. Now, typically, there's two options in here you do need to knock out. I think I already had mine turned off. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go to, uh, that was on-screen overlay. And the second one is display overlay. So let's go ahead. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off. So as you guys can see, there it is. That's hide overlay. And then the other one is display overlay. So those are the two options there. You definitely want to check out. It's really simple, really easy. But the problem is, I believe that if you exit the game, uh, you see, they came back again. So we've got to go ahead and make sure we turn those off. So, and when I first started doing this, it was really annoying because I was like, man, I deleted them, I turned them off. But there's two different set, uh, settings you do have to turn off. So let's go ahead and hide. Uh, show inputs overlay. I think it's that one there. I believe that's the option. So let's go ahead and turn those off. So let's go ahead and exit out. So as you can see, the overlays are now removed. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the game and then I'm gonna go back in. And typically, even if you do that and you exit the game and then come back in and re shows up again or uh, back on your screen. But then of course, that's why I prefer the option of just deleting them entirely because they, that setting is just really annoying, see? So there they are again. So every time you have to do this, you have to go into the settings, go into on-screen display, on-screen overlay, and this is where it gets tricky. So the display overlay and the bezels pull from the same menu. So that's why when I was first doing this, uh, it was these two options and you have to have both of these turned off. So 
a high overlay menu will go on display overlay off and there you go that's how you turn off the bezels now of course again if you do want to turn them off permanently you do have to use your computer going to win scp which allows you to access uh, different settings and different files that are on the raspberry pi i would personally leave that alone unless you guys are using a image or build like the one i made the supreme one up which i totally deleted all of them uh so that's actually the best and safest way um, i did have an individual try to convert that supreme one up image and add consoles and stuff and i said well that's not going to work if you if you want bezels because i completely deleted them so you would have to download the supreme unify for the raspberry pi 3b plus and start from scratch if you want it to have a full system full console set up for that type of unit so again guys this is keel Dyken. if you please have any questions or concerns make sure you join our group retro pie official uh, that is obviously not affiliated with the retro pie official team um, we created our own little Facebook groups, for, you know, for everybody to come in there and hang out. We have a lot of experienced Pi users and devs in that group. But also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, join the Keo Daikin Arcade group, where I have Arcade. Uh, it's my uh, hobby group, which is an extension of my YouTube channel. I love to get back. We can, you know, maybe get to know one another. Um, but I just hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please consider subscribing and sharing this video for anybody who's having problems out there. So again, guys, you guys have a good night. I'll catch you guys later.